Today I will teach you about full diff and log backups in SQL. We we'll take a look at the jobs in SSMS. We will ruin the database and then restore it successfully. So let's dive right in. Have you tried turning it off and on again? All right, so first we need to understand how the backup works. For example, we can have two full backups one on Saturday and then the Saturday next to it. Timmy at HR is the one that is going to ruin this database at Friday. And yeah, we have a backup at Saturday, the last Saturday. So we have a bit of a data loss, of course, from Monday to Friday when Timmy made the mistake. We can do differential backups on, for example, Sunday to Friday and these differential backups contain everything that has happened since the last full backup. So they grow in size until we make another full backup then it will shrink again. And for example if we take a full backup together with the backup on Friday, the differential backup we can actually get all the delta changes from Sunday to Friday. But we will need the full backup together with the differential backup. So then we have everything we need until Friday. But if we want to back up to the exact moment that Timmy made a mess of the database, we also need some transaction log backups. And depending how critical your system is and how much data loss you're willing to accept, these log backups are usually done like every five minutes to an hour. So let's say that Timmy messed up at lunchtime Friday. Then we have a lot of backups to work with. We have the full backup, which will be the anchor in this backup chain. Then we take the differential backup that contains every change made up to the differential one and then we can take the log backups and we maybe only just miss out of five minutes or so depending on when the log backup was made and Timmy is not fired. So that's how the backup chains work in SQL for full diff and log. Let's see in reality how it actually is done. So we are in SSMS, let's go to properties for this SQL instance. And this is a Microsoft SQL Server developer. So you need to have a developer or a standard license or enterprise to actually do backup jobs like this. And the backup jobs you see right now are actually from Ola Hallengren. I have a video how to set them up. I highly, highly recommend you set up this on your SQL Server. It will make a big change for how you do your backups. So these are already set up with log, diff and full backups. For it to work, you need to go into the database, go to options and make sure the recovery model is set to full. It's set to simple by default, so you need to have it on full to be able to work with transaction log database backups. Else only full and diff backups. When we have done that on our test database, we can actually expand the database to see the tables. And uh, yeah, let's mess up the product table. So let, we are going to edit this, or actually Timmy, let's say he messed up all the list prices for all the products. So here in the list price row, we are actually going to set one, 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 one. So maybe he had one on his auto hotkey for a cookie clicker game or something. So yeah, he messed up all the list prices and we have to revert back the database. Of course, it could be another scenario, but just let's just pretend it's like this for uh, for now. Okay, so the database is ruined. We can 
x out of this query. And what we will do is actually to take the database offline immediately. So no customers, for example, are going to be able to do any transactions into it and buy stuff for $1. So the database is now offline. That's good. And next we are going to go to the properties of this SQL instant database settings. And here we can actually see the database default locations. So I will copy that one, open a file explorer. And here we can see the LDF and the MDF, which are the two main files for the database. I will now rename these ones. So we know these are the old database files. So renaming this two to old. And when that is done, I usually delete this database from SSMS. So there are no doubts about what database we are working with. So delete this. And remember, this only deletes the database from SSMS. It doesn't delete any database files at all. So it's only for SSMS. We can see here files are still there. No problem. Even if we refresh. Okay, so we are on pretty much a clean slate right now. And how do we now get back our precious database? So we right click on database, restore database, hit device, then the triple dots. And here we will do as the example in the beginning of this video, we need the full backup, we need the, dif there's the differential backup, and we need the log backup after that. So first, we will select our full backup. We will hit OK. This is from the 23rd of February. We will add the differential backup. So let's go into diff. This is from the 24th. So we will select that. And then we will go in to the log. And if you know which logs to select, it's OK. But the system is smart enough so you can just highlight every file and it will calculate on its own which logs are after the last differential backup. And here we can see it only took two transaction logs into account. All right, so we are going to restore to the 24th of February, 8.55. And here we can see we got the full, we got the diff, and we got two transaction logs after that differential backup. And if we see 8.55, and we actually have the tra latest transaction log taken, 8.55. Let's head to files and look at the file paths here. So we can see the original one. And here we can see how these are going to be restored. I do not want to call them restore one, two, three. I want to put today's date instead. We can do it right in here. So 25th, sorry, 24th of February, it's right now, 25.02.24. And I will copy that one and put it also for the LDF, which is the log file. But one is called .ldf and one is called .mdf. And here we make sure no tail backup is done and restore with recovery and hit OK. Hopefully you will also get database successfully recovered. And here it is, the database. Let's inspect it. Hit up tables, the product. And yeah, we can edit or select the top rows. And we can see the list price are actually back to normal again. So yeah, good thing for Timmy, we didn't sell anything for $1. If this was helpful, leave a like and subscribe. Bye bye.